The View. A panel of leftists spewing Alinskyite propagandized slogans based on weaponized disinformation to their gullible mob audience. It's only a matter of time before Trump derangement syndrome begins to bubble to the surface. I mean, I have been in the crime business for over three decades, and I think I said that before. And I know a con when I see it. And I think that what has happened in the last, I think that what has happened truly in the last campaign, and everybody needs to be concerned about that. Lady Justice is supposed to be blind. You're not an ideologue? Yeah. No, I'm not. And I am in law let enforcement. Me, let me ask you the and question. It's right and do wrong. You think, um, do you think Donald Trump embraces and embodies conservative ideology? Remember, you know, he used to be, uh, have a different position on pro choice. Uh, he's imposing tariffs. He's against globalism. Do you think he is an ideologue that is faithful to conservative policies? You know, I'm not here to talk about what Donald Trump is and isn't. But you I talk about him all No, you got no, to answer the question. I'm here to talk you about the book. Okay. You want to talk about Donald Trump. You tell me what metric in this country is worse off. Unemployment is lower than it's been in 50 years. Minorities, Hispanics, African Americans have jobs. Hate, 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 hate crimes are worse and off. And wait a minute. The G GDP under Obama was barely one. We're going up to four. And if Democrats so. don't get their you-know-what together, he's certainly going well, to get reelected. Here's my you question know, for you. Here's my question for you because Trump's you talk about... You, you talk about... I am not, Judge. Nobody no, is... I, no, oh, yeah. Did you just point at me? Yes! Listen, I don't have Trump yes. derangement. Let me tell you what I have. Okay. I have a lot of... I'm tired of people starting a conversation with Mexicans or liars and rapists. I'm tired of people starting a conversation. This is where the Trump derangement syndrome starts to fester. Whoopi is arguing a moot point. Yes, Whoopi, over 32% of federal inmates in the U.S. are illegal aliens. And yes, roughly 5,000 U.S. citizens die every year as a result of illegal alien drivers. And yes, there is a largely ignored rape epidemic of American children by illegal aliens. And yes, it does cost the U.S. taxpayers roughly $113 billion per year to pick up the tab on the illegals pouring over our border. Whoopi's frustration is meaningless because regardless of what fantasy the left may believe, we do have immigration laws and most Americans want them enforced and strengthened. Listen. 62 years old, there have been a lot of people in office that I didn't agree with, but I have never, ever seen anything like this. I've never seen anybody whip up such hate. I've never seen anybody be so dismissive. Next, Whoopi mockingly asked, what is the deep state? As if it were on par with the fictional Legion of Doom. One of the things that you talk about a lot, and I'm curious about it, is the deep state. How long has the deep state been there and who's running it? Unfortunately, the judge isn't permitted to answer, so I will answer for her. The deep state is a massive bureaucratic fourth branch of government that continues to infest Washington, D.C. as it remains indefinitely immune to our election process. As presidents and congressmen have come and gone, foreign and internal corruption have ensured that the deep state has grown in stature feeding on, limiting, and ultimately destroying our Bill of Rights in order to gain an elitist totalitarian stranglehold on our country and its citizens. Its minions inhabit the intelligence community, the Pentagon, congressional lobbyists and politicians, think tanks like the Council on Foreign Relations, and representatives of the United Nations as the UN agendas 21 and 30 are wielded on sovereignty across the globe. Its origins in the United States are embedded in the history of the Federal Reserve, and we have been told of its intentions. Eisenhower warned us of the military-industrial complex, JFK warned us of secret societies, and previous presidencies have exposed its power by kowtowing to policies in direct opposition of their own promises to the American citizenry. It's not a small, insignificant boogeyman, Whoopi. It is massive, and it is very real. The irony is the daughter of one of its most prominent agents, John McCain, is sitting directly across from you, a man that will go down in history when it comes to the buildup of the deep state Trojan horse, generically known as ISIS. 
And per usual, Trump derangement syndrome inevitably results in a loss of rational thought and a blatant display of hypocrisy and hubris. You know what's hard? What's when, horrible when the president of the United States whips up cities. people to beat no. the hell out of people. No. Say goodbye. Let me go. You saw me do something I very rarely do. I very rarely lose my cool, and I'm, I'm not proud of it, I don't like it. But I also don't like being accused of being hysterical, because that's one of the things I try not to be on this show. So, have a great day. Go and go to you. Thank you to Anna Navarro. Thank Thanks you for, for watching. Thank you for coming. Take a little time to enjoy the view. Bye, y'all. And she decided uh, that she was going to end it. No one saw that, but it got worse. When I went off the stage, Sean, uh, I was walking downstairs, uh, and I said something like, Whoopi, I fought for victims my whole life. And she came at me as I was leaving, and she said, F you, in my face, literally spitting at me, F you, get the F out of this building. And I said to her, did you just say that? She said, that's what I said, get the F out of this building. And she was screaming at me. And I'm walking out of the building like a dog who was just kicked off. So forget about what she did to me on set, which was horrific in itself. But the treatment by uh, Whoopi Goldberg is typical of what is going on in this country. Get help, Whoopi. It's not too late. John Bound reporting.